Good morning everyone from Italy. So beautiful. It's a new day. We are going on an e-bike tour this morning through a bunch of places. Here's Jess. Hey, good morning. <laughs> we are gonna go past the Trevi Fountain and a bunch of cool places. So we're gonna start with that. And then later on we have a pasta making class, so stay tuned for that. First full actual touring day in Rome. Got our bikes getting set up. <laughs> All right, we gotta wear helmets. I haven't worn a helmet since fourth grade. It's fine. Here we go. I'm riding a bike through Rome. Thank goodness they're e-bikes. <laughs> Are you filming this? Oh yeah. There's the Colosseum, guys. Yeah, I kept wishing I could film like. So beautiful. Beautiful architecture. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Look at this place. All the beautiful buildings. Wow, look at this thing. Let me close, cover the sun. I don't know if you can see, there's so much detail on here. I don't think you can tell, but all of this is like has a ton of tiny, tiny carvings all the way to the top. Holy moly. I wonder what they mean, like what story they tell. Are they restoring something or are they? Look at this place. It's so cool. Okay, we just rode our bikes to the Trevi Fountain. Are you kidding me? This is beautiful, yeah. Wow. Holy moly. I'm at the Trevi Fountain. I have a coin I'm gonna throw in. Okay, so you stand with your back to the fountain. I'm gonna go down there, but, oh wait, let me just walk down there. So you stand with your back to the fountain, you put a coin in your right hand, and throw it over your left shoulder. One coin toss means you're gonna come back to Rome. Two coin tosses means you're gonna find love in Rome. And three coin tosses means you're gonna get a divorce. So, not saying any either way. If you want a divorce, go ahead. If not, don't do the third throw. <laughs> Coins are in here. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. If you guys ever come here, you need to come to the Chubby Fountain. Look at this architecture. What? Are you kidding me? Let me just zoom in on these statues for you guys because look at the detail. Whoa. Like, I can't believe people built this. I mean, I can and I can't. I don't want to sound stupid, but. I'm just impressed. Wow. Look at all the people here. I look so tiny too. Like, look at the size of people. This is like regular height to the size of this thing. Okay. Bye, Chubby Found. Until next time. All right, we're heading back to the bikes now. Little fruit stand. There's all of our bikes. Let's we made it to the Spanish Steps here, which our tour guide was saying is actually made by the French, but the Spanish ambassador used to be over here. So they made the Spanish Steps for him and to connect, this was a market with shops and stuff, to connect the market with 
the building up there. So also fun fact, if you come here, you're not supposed to sit on the steps. So do not sit on the steps, it's forbidden. Just a uh, heads up, but let's go check it out. Ooh, this little fountain here. Look at this place. All right, let's go climb the Spanish steps here. Look at this. Yeah. All right, one more set of steps. Almost there. Just kidding, there's more over here. Just kidding. Close. Ooh. Okay, I think they want to kill us because there's more over there. But here's, I guess what you could call halfway view. But let's keep going. We can do this. Oh my gosh, I feel so grateful to be here. I have this experience. Oh my goodness. I just, I can't believe it. Look at all the cute little rooftop gardens and stuff. Everybody's houses. You can, I don't know if you can see, but you can see for miles over there. Alright, we're headed back down. I like going down better. <laughs> It's okay. called the, the, the square of the people. The square of the people. Oops. How is it? Yeah. Piazza del Popolo. Piazza del Popolo. There we go. Fountain. And then there's these three streets here. Goes... How cool is that? Oh. Stopped at this little cafe for a little coffee break. I have no idea what I'm gonna get. I'm just gonna point at what something is because I don't know how to say anything. <gasps> Look at the gelato. Mm. Look at that coffee machine. That is a serious espresso machine. Alright, there's these little fountains around the city that have clean drinking water. Rome has some of the cleanest drinking water there is. But look at this view. Wow. Here, let me zoom in a little bit for you guys so you can really see the city. So cool. There you go. That's a good shot. Wow. People singing in the background, but that's where we just were down there where the three streets are, and we rode all the way up here. Over there, the fountain street called Obelisk, okay? This is called the fountains of the Four River. Okay, so this tower, each statue represents a continent of the world, and there's only five out of seven because uh, Australia and Antarctica were not discovered yet. So, when, or when they built this. Well. Seriously, again, the detail. Insane. Here, I'll get in the shades. Wow. So tall! Now we're at the Pantheon, and so she was saying that the legend says that uh, on the April 21st, the sun is perfectly aligned in the center so that the emperor could walk in and be illuminated. And it's on April 21st because that is supposedly the birthday of Rome. So, there it is. All right, she said we could go inside if there's not enough, if there's not too many people, so we'll see. The width of the columns, yeah. Everything is so much bigger than I thought. Like, all the buildings yeah. are so tall, right? Yeah, it's not, it's not like I thought, it's so little. Right. Like, I feel so tiny, and I'm I'm short, but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not quite that short. Yeah, not that short. Okay, we were gonna go inside, but the line wraps around all the way down, way down there, so we're not gonna go in. All right, there's as close as I can get. <laughs> we're heading back to the bikes. It's too long of a, a line. Okay. So we just came to what she said is called the Jewish ghetto, the Jewish neighborhood. And I heard another person say that um, when she was a kid, this was not here. This was all underground. 
and it was excavated over the years to reveal all of this. That's so crazy. And this theater here was built first before the Colosseum. So the Colosseum was based off of this theater in the Jewish neighborhood. But yeah, if you were Jewish, you had to stay in this area. Oops. Watch out. All right, we finished our bicycle tour and we met up with the other half because we split into two. And then we got back on the bus and we just got back to the hotel. We have some downtime now to shower and rest a little bit. And then we are headed to our pasta class. Okay, we're back on the bus. Sponsor tour guide. I will call you a ragazzi. Okay. Ragazzi. Put the two guys here. Anyways, yes, we're going uh, to no, make you know, some pasta I did not and gnocchi dress him up as the in a garden. Worker, but he I, is like because it's so beautiful outside, so they set it up so we can make it in a garden. How sweet is that? All right, we just got here. I was starting to fall asleep. And the bus. I need another espresso. <laughs> wow, look at this. Sit under the trees outside. Okay. I'm getting set up over here. Excited. Look at this. Ah! How cute. All right, we have the flowers set up. We have a little hat. Putting on our hat. <laughs> oh, how do you put this on? I don't know. This one has a nice put on. Oh, we have aprons too. All right, let me get let me get our my outfit on. In bowl, 100 gram of flour, and we need one egg and a piece of salt. All right, a little well. Where's the salt? Per due le mani? Allora, per pulire le mani così, guardate ragazzi. Yeah. Farina. I don't know what you're saying. Oh, Spanish. I understand it because it's Spanish. Oh, yes. I'm like, wait, I just translated that. <laughs> oh, head. yeah, so you do know. Yeah, yeah. I do. Brava. Oh, I've been so much brava. Yeah. <laughs> I used to make fresh pasta at my house because I have chickens. So I would make it with the fresh eggs. Yeah. Yeah. Six. Well, one passed away from a respiratory infection. But five. No, so five now, but. For the meal? Yeah, like that. Ooh, nice! <laughs> Look at my pasta! All right, we got our ball of potato dough now. We're gonna make some gnocchi. I'm so excited. Potato. Okay, just potato, yeah. Mashed potato. Then we put 100 grams. Same quantity of uh, potato. 100 okay. grams yeah. of potato and I put 100 grams of flour. Mashed potato You guys, I'm proud of us. Good job Cheers. for the bike ride today. Yeah. Cheers, chin chin. Chin chin. Okay, so chin -chin. in so in Italy they say chin chin when yeah. you no, salute no. because it, it's too. the sound of the glasses clicking together. Yeah, yeah. So you say chin yeah. chin. Oh my god. And you're supposed well. to look each other in the eyes. Oh, okay. And if you don't look yeah. at each other, if somebody in the eye, you're gonna have seven years of bad sex. So yeah, yeah. Yeah. I like the I made this. First taste. Cheese. Cheese. Yep. It's good. We're good chefs. 
good job, guys. How do we do? Are we opening up the pasta shop with us being the only yeah. customers, or what are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> We just finished up dinner, so I forgot to record the second course, but so our first course was the pasta that we made. One was red sauce, one was um, white sauce, and then the second course we had chicken with vegetables, and then the third course we finished off with a fruit salad. But how cool is this? This is a whole restaurant. We sat outside here, but there's also inside, the lights were not on, but um, we have this whole restaurant to ourselves. Like how cool is that? It's getting a little bit chilly, so I put my jacket on but I'm just like mind blown that I even have this experience. I know I already said that I think, but I'm just so grateful. It's so cool. And I got to meet Casey who, um, if you don't follow her on TikTok um, or Instagram, she uh, used to use, live in the United States and met somebody in here in Italy and decided to live here. It's really cool to connect with all these people from all over the place, all over the world and the country and yeah. So we're gonna wrap up here and then I think we are going to do some shopping, get some gelato. I'm not opposed to that. Oh, oh what did we get here? This looks good. Is this limoncello? Yes. Oh, sweet. Oh, cheers. Cheers. Put it on me. Cheers. I'm blaming you. Hello again. So, oops, I'm going this way. We got back to the hotel. I rested a little bit more because, guys, that that was a nine mile bike ride earlier and I'm exhausted. And then we just walked around, you know, the city and the pasta making. Anyways, changed into some warm clothes because, guys, the second it goes down, the sun goes down in Italy, it is cold. Like, even a few minutes before, like, while the sun is setting, it's freezing. I think we're gonna go walk around a couple of us and get some gelato. Where are you guys? Oh, there you are. Ready to go? Found my friends. Okay, we're walking around. We found this little shop. I just like to see the different cultures, um, snacks and foods. Look at these Pringles. They have ham and cheese, pizza, ketchup, hot and spicy. Hot and spicy. The pizza ones are actually pretty good. Are they? Yeah, yeah, I think I. I don't know if I've had the like Pringles versions, but yeah. wait, what? Awesome. Look at these. They're literally heard of two euros. Look, I've never That's heard crazy. Of these brands. Oh like, yeah. The doctor. My friend earlier too had Coke. And she said that it tastes a little bit different than the American one. It's less sweet. So they're all. Different. It tastes like Coke Zero. I think they use a different sugar. Like they use cane sugar. We use corn syrup. Same with like Mexico. Oh yeah, too. yeah. I'm, I'm from Atlanta. Atlanta. Sorry. We have the world of Coke. And Another market. We found cheese and onion lays. Bacon. All this pasta. All right. No big deal. Just walking around Italy by ourselves. <laughs> Going to get gelato. All right, we found it. I can smell the cones. It smells, it smells so really good. good. I love the smell of the waffle cones. Yeah. I know, I was like, I know, we're in the right place. Oh, guys, <gasps> what are those? Guys, if you could smell through this camera right now, it's amazing. Oh, there you go, making some cones. Look at that. Here's the flavors. Yes, please. Okay, we just met up with the other group and the other people that went out earlier and we're gonna go get some drinks in here. We finished up the gelato. I got salted caramel and another flavor I don't know how to say. Hi. Um, both were amazing. So good, we went to Il Latte. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. But such a funny story in Small World. So there was a couple next to us and we were talking about flavors because we were trying to translate what all the flavors were. And it turns out they went to the same high school as me. I live in Florida now, but I used to live in Massachusetts and they have a house right down the street from where I live or where my house is there. I was like, what? Like, what are the odds? They were a little bit older, so we didn't go to the school at the same time, but we went to the same high school. Like, what are the odds in the middle of Italy in this gelato shop that we went to the same high school? Such a small world. All right, getting on an elevator. Oh my gosh, I'll go with you, oh my God. Okay, first crew went up. We're going to a rooftop bar. Do it! <laughs> oh. Yeah, look at all those stairs that I don't want to walk up. <laughs> Here we are. Okay. Ooh, look at this. So cute. This is so pretty. We get to see the city at night. 
Oh my gosh. It's so cool. I remember seeing that. I'm actually starting to recognize where I am now because we've been on the bus so many times and walking around and like obviously we don't have a car here so I'm getting familiar with where I am now which is so weird. What's on this side? Ooh, so pretty. Wow. Can say hi? Hi. <laughs> That's Mallory. I'm Mallory. I brought one of the two guys. There's only two guys in this trip. Thank you. You're so ready, love it. Uh, she's only with uh, Saint Germain, back with the tropical. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. See? Okay. What did you get? Yeah, Hugo Springs. Yeah, Ooh, I love these mugs or glasses. Mugs. Mugs. <laughs> mugs. <laughs> mugs. Glasses, mugs. mugs. I know. Glasses. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cheers. 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 Way over there. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to Thailand. Woo! <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm just now leaving the rooftop bar. That was such an amazing view. Really good drinks. Strong drinks, by the way. Um, <laughs> but I have had the most amazing day so much content that I think this has to be the end of the video because oh my goodness if you ever come to Rome I definitely recommend the bike tour because a they're e-bikes so you don't have to pedal the whole time <laughs> b you see so many things and c you get to learn things that you wouldn't know if you were just coming here by yourself I think that it was just so interesting to learn the background history of different places that we were seeing too instead of just taking a picture with it I hope that you guys enjoyed touring around Rome with me for my first full day. Tomorrow is another full day, so stay tuned for that as well. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Ciao!